What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing seven days to die We've done a little bit of work I actually recorded the first part of this episode already, but we had some technical difficulties I'm gonna tell you about it. We set up another forge. We are making bullet tips here We are making all of the bullet tips of all time ever we made the bullet tip mold We got some lead up in this piece over in here. We're still cooking up the rest of the leading. It's Making stuff and things happen. We got some iron fragments right there. We're gonna go ahead and stick our brass in here as well. We've got a huge amount of gunpowder, and we've made. Remember in the last episode, a bunch of other stuff and things too. So we've got some shotgun shells. We've got um, getting ready for the d the seven day horde. Now I'm not really sure how the seven day horde works. One of the things I am sure about is how the dog horde works because as I was recording the first part of this episode. Uh, before, there was a dog horde, and it came, and I died. And I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I died. It was, I tried to switch weapons, because I figured I wouldn't reload my shotgun. I would switch to my handgun instead of reloading. What happened was, the gun started to automatically reload. Then, I went to switch to the handgun. By the time it, it like, finished reloading, then it had to pause, switch to the handgun. I unloaded everything in this thing in, like, two seconds, and then um, it went to reload the handgun. It was a bad idea. Lesson learned, don't reload, or don't switch weapons. Like, just use, once you've got your gun out, commit. If there's 49 million dogs after you. Um, that's true in real life. I mean, honestly, if you got 49 million dogs after you, just don't reload. Or don't switch weapons. <laughs> just keep going. Um, so, yeah, it was a thing. Now we have death and destruction in our home. You can see we've destroyed a little bit of the floor and the wall, so we're going to fix that up really quickly. Uh, that's not really a huge big deal. Can we fix that with this axe? No, you're going to make me get my ghetto hammer out. All right, the ghetto hammer. So, um, but there was no audio, but it was it was funny. So I thought you guys might like to at least listen. So here it is. I just don't know. I just don't know. And also, you know, one of the other things I've been thinking about doing is I really want to start to get to, like, building something. Oh, oh, that's a dog. Oh, oh, that's a couple of dogs. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Run into the house. I am fully puckered. It is a thing. Ooh. Ooh. No way. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. What is crap? What is crap? Stop reloading! Oh my god! No, no, no! Don't die, Slipgator! No! Oh my god, we died! What happened? No way! No way! Oh, so scary! And we're back, and that was the audio. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to play it for you because I thought it was funny. Um, but yeah, so one of the, a couple of the things we're thinking about um, for what's going to happen now. I'm not really sure how defendable, defensible the honesty is, or how good of an idea it is to even try to defend this place. I know with the feral hordes there won't be as many dogs. Um, there'll be a couple dogs, and then we should be good to go. Uh, but there won't be. 90. Actually, I think there was like 10 dogs in that feral dog horde, but that was some scary stuff, man. I'm telling you right now, that's like submachine gun territory, just tearing them to pieces. Because eight shots out of the shoddy didn't do it, man. It was not good. Um, so, so yeah, I'm not sure about how we can do that over here, but I feel like the honesty... I don't know. Like, I'd like to do like a base or something like that, like in this area, but... With all the hills and mountains and stuff, I don't think I'm going to be able to do what I want to do. So, I think we're going to have to move after the day seven... Are you hearing dogs? Because I keep hearing them. I think after the day seven horde, we're going to try to survive it here. After that, we're going to move. Um, so, taking a look at the map, we've got the honesties. We may come out here for like vacations and things like that. But I'm thinking maybe this little town right here would be a good spot. Um... I don't know. We can do a little bit more exploring. This town's really humongous, so I don't know if that would be good. Um, I do want to go to a place where we can kind of flatten it and take it as our own. So this smaller this smaller town might be better, but I don't. I also want to be in a good biome, and that's the other thing about this area that I kind of think is a pain in the butt: the constant crickets. You don't really notice it until you notice it, and then when you notice it. You can't stop noticing it, and it's 
all the time with the crickets. The friggin' crickets. In real life, if you shoot a gun, crickets stop. Not here. This is seven days to die. Driving you insane. So, um, audio is a big part of what we're going to be doing. So, we got to think about that. Um, all right. So, we got our bullet tips now. We've got 91 bullet casings. Let's come down here and get some 7.62s rocking and rolling. The other thing with the horde that I'm thinking too is I have it set to keep my bar. So I'm going to pick like two guns probably and put the guns and the bullets on the bar. All right, so we have 105, 105 762s, but now we can make about 100 more of these. So if we stick just one, I keep hearing things. If we stick just one, like a so, create. Now we can just go like this, shift click in there, bam. Ugh, 91. And so now we've got... 196 of the 762s. So that's a good amount of bullets, let me tell you what, right now. I feel like, you know, 150 shotgun shells. I don't know how much we'll be able to use the hunting rifle, but I keep hearing stuff. But, yeah, I don't know how much we'll be able to use the rifle, but it should be a thing. So also durability on the guns, I think we're good to go there. Uh, let's just double check. I didn't really take a look at the hunting rifle durability. Yeah, it's good. Um, we don't... Magnum? I'm not down with the Magnum. I feel like it needs more to hold more ammo. I don't know. So, I know it's super powerful. We, we might start using it in the future, but for this horde, I, I don't know. The other thing is that I really don't know um, is I don't know if the horde comes tonight. Night six morning seven or night seven morning eight so this was dog horde about 1300 on day six and i'm gonna tell you that i was fully puckered and i said it in the little part where i was fully puckered and i'm super scared so i don't know <laughs> i don't even know but we have the rest of the day today to do stuff i i kind of want to do the horde either today or not. So I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Like, I mean, what I'm saying is I could get another episode out before the horde, but I feel like I kind of just want to get the horde done <clears throat> and then start kind of getting into base building and stuff like that. Are you almost done, homie? Also, I guess we'll just let that run its course. Um, and then what we can do is put the iron mold in there. But yeah, so I kind of want to get the Day 7 Horde over with. So at the very least tonight, what we're going to do, I'm going to work on a little bit of fortifications. See if we can get some sort of a fortification done. I don't even know. You know what I should do? I should make a way to get to the roof. That's probably a really good idea. I'm guessing that's a super smart idea, to be honest with you. I should make a way to get to the roof. Core block. Disgusting. In my house. Blood everywhere. So over here, we could do that. We could make a way inside of here to get to the roof and get get up. Oh, we could probably just... I mean, screw it. <laughs> Is this the roof or what? Oh, let's take this out. I know we're destroying the honesty, but it's a thing that needs to happen. All right, so what we need now, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Okay, what we need now is ladders. So, all right, like I said, I'm going to work on some fortifications, and then I'll BRBs, peeps. I hear something. I hear something right now. Like, I think I hear something. I hear something like Horty. Spider zombie. There should be more. There should be two more. Boy, am I glad I made a... Uh, something to come out to the roof. So there was one. Where did he go? 
I knew I could hear something. I was working inside and I was like, I keep hearing something, man. Yeah, they're over there somewhere. Let's go see if we can find them. Maybe maybe we won't get to the horde today. I don't know, because this is too cool. Can we get to these guys before... Oh, my God. Did the heat map really, like, make them spawn? Oh, man. It's going to be so hard to shoot them without them calling in their buddies. Got him. There's another one. Oh, baby! Master Sniper. Master Sniper. Did you even see that shot? No. Master Sniper. And then the other guy's probably gone. So I think I got him without having them call in anybody else. And we got our way up to the roof. All right. All right. This is getting intense. All right, I'll be our bees. Dog horde. It's another dog horde. Oh my god, I can't even believe it. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god. I'm shaking. Oh my god. Look at them all. Look at them all! Oh my god, it's so terrifying and they never die! I'm gonna run out of stamina. Oh my god. Oh, run into the house. Run into the house. Sprained ankle. Second dog horde. Second dog horde of the day. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many bullets have we gone through already? Okay. Need to make more shotgun shells. This is getting intense. Second dog horde. Terrible, scary, distra meh. Meh. And we're back. <clears throat> and I hear zombies. And I've got to tell you that I am completely afraid. I have not had a video game do this to me. I don't even know how long. This is crazy. I'm terrified. I'm on top of a roof, terrified with a gun. It is... This game is so awesome. <laughs> I hear zombies. It must just be one. It must just be one wandering. Two dog hordes. Just out of nowhere. And I, I just don't know, like, what's going to happen next. Like, I'm like, was, is there more? Another dog horde? What will go on? So I'm just, like, terrified. So I started recording because I thought something would happen. I've be I've placed some torches in and about the honesty in an attempt to uh, brighten up the day. Oh, here we go. Fog. Sweet. Perfect. Um, we should probably squirt some up here. Yeah, I hear them. Oh, it's ha it's coming now. Oh. What's that? Oh, trees. <laughs> All right, soon. It's going to come soon. I think we'll see. We got a couple hours left of uh this day 6 and then I don't know. This is going to be intense. I need a beer. And we're back. This should be it. Unless there's some sort of spawning issue. I don't see anything. Honestly, I feel like I would be fine if there wasn't a horde. <laughs> Is 
Is there nothing? Because, you know, spawning's been screwed up. I haven't done anything weird, like change the time or anything like that. Oh, I hear screamers. Oh, I hear stuff. Oh. Oh, I hear it. Oh. Oh, whole batch of them. It looks like spiders, spider zombies. I don't think it's a horde. Oh. Oh. I hear a pitter patter of little feet. Huh? <laughs> Where are they? Oh. oh I hear more are they coming from over here Is that it? Oh my god, I'm so puckered. So I don't think it was a feral horde. I think we got a horde. A small one. Maybe the day seven horde, they took it easy on us. I can tell you one thing, man. The friggin' dog hordes today. Oh my god. I feel confident to walk out in and amongst the outside of the area places. We get anything good off of you, fat man, before you despawn? Thank you for your fat. I appreciate your fat. Unless they, like, walked by or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. My kingdom for a fort. Do you know how insecure I felt inside that little friggin' house? Honestly, you're beautiful, but it's time to say goodbye to you. We need bricks and concrete. So unless it comes on the night tonight, night seven, morning eight, I think that we have survived. Well, no, we didn't. We died. But... <laughs> That's going to be it for today, guys. Oh, my God. You know what's really crazy about this is that it's midnight right now. Like, it just turned midnight at the same time as it turned midnight in the game. I keep hearing stuff, man. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you. What a creepy game. Oh, my God. Peace out, peeps. <laughs>